everybody, what's going on? I'm East Coast Pete. Welcome to my show for drummers only. Today we're going to talk about Mr. Mike Shreve. He's an American drummer, composer, and Latin jazz rock fusion band Santana from 1969-1974. He was 20 when he lit up the stage at Woodstock 69. His first band was the Glass Menagerie. At age 16, he played a jam session at the Fillmore Auditorium in San Francisco. He's been seen and heard by Carlos Santana's manager, and Mike would join Santana in 1968. So what happened at Woodstock? Santana was a write-in to the roster of those three-day festivals, Bill Graham sent Santana to play in place of Chicago, who were tied up with dates at the Fillmore West. Santana took the stage early in day two, after going right after Country Joe and the Fish around 2 p.m. There were rain clouds threatening Santana was, of course, worried about thunderstorms with all that electrical equipment on stage. But they went and played anyway. The sun came out during their set. It was a welcome sight to thousands of stalwart music fans. And then Santana electrified the crowd for 45 minutes. Just what was needed. Mike Shreve played a solo in the middle of Soul Sacrifice that proved not only to be a reinvigoration <clears throat> for the people at the Woodstock Festival, but a highlight of the entire festival as well as the movie. Then the rain kept off until 2 p.m. the next day when it returned as a gale. Music was interrupted for three hours while the crowd chanted, No rain, no rain. And when Santana went to play Woodstock, they were a great, great band. After Woodstock, they were superstars. And that's what happened at Woodstock. And was I there? No, I was not. I was 13 years old. <laughs> My Father said, no way you're not going up there. No, he's watching it on television. He's like, how can the president let this thing happen? The president was just about to go down in flames himself, Dad. Sorry. Back to Shreve. He played in his first seven Santana albums. These include... Santana in 69 and Abraxas in 70 in 71 Santana 3 in 72 Caravan Sarai and Shreve co-wrote four of the tracks on this album it's one of my personal favorites in 79 the album Welcome 74 Borboletta and 74 Lotus when Shreve left, Carlos Santana became a full-fledged jazz performer. Then Shreve moved to London. The Automatic Man album with Pat Thrall, Donnie Harvey, and Todd Cochran came out. Shreve was also in the supergroup Go with Steve Winwood and Al Demiola. And they were two albums, Go and Go To. He played with Sammy Hagar and Neil Sean, and later he played with Roger Hodgson on his first solo album, Eye of the Storm. He also played on the Rolling Stones' Emotional Rescue and Mick Jagger's solo, She's the Boss. Shreve was also in the studio with Jaco Pastorius. 
but these tracks never went out. Other names he's worked with include Neil Sean, as previously mentioned, but also Andy Summers, Buckethead, and Todd Rundgren, and many, many others. I'm not interested in ending my show in the middle of Mr. Shree's solo here, so want to just sit here and listen with me for a minute? Cool. thrill it must have been be so young and see so many people and, and then just do your amazingly talented solo surprising all hey, hey Lisa look there's a white guy playing with that Latin band that's pretty cool huh yeah. Well, thank you all for being with me on For Drummers Only. Hit like if you like it. And take really good care. See you next.